three month old baby turns blue prong crying, feeding, and or having a bowel movement, which heart defect is this most likely describing? A. Tetralogy of flow. B. Mitral valve prolapse. C. Aortic stenosis. Or D. Patent ductus arteriosus. What is your answer? Correct answer, Tetralogy of Fallot. Now what is Tetralogy of Fallot? Basically, uh, it's a congenital heart defect that causes problems with the normal flow of blood throughout the heart. Now the blood flow through the heart is very specific, has a very specific sequence that it must go through to take basically deoxygenated blood from the body to the right side of the heart, to the lungs, to the left side of the heart, and then to the rest of the body, so the body can be able to do what it needs to do. Now in Tetralogy of Fallot, um, there's heart defects. As you can see here in this picture, there's the normal heart, and then there's Tetralogy of Fallot. There's four uh, defects in Tetralogy of Fallot. There's the overriding aorta, which is basically a aorta in the wrong place. There's pulmonic stenosis, which is basically um, in the narrowing in the valve in the passage. And then there's ventricular septal defect, which is basically a hole in the wall that divides the right and left side of the heart. And then there's right ventricular hypertrophy, which is basically enlargement. Now some quick facts. Now some quick facts. Usually uh, the TET spells happen in two to four month old babies. Tetralogy of flow is usually diagnosed soon after birth. Now these TET spells, it's, they happen when there's not enough oxygen in the blood, and this actually can cause sudden death. Now surgery is usually indicated um, necessary to correct this. After the temporary surgery, it may be a more complete surgery. Now let's talk about TET spells. Now TET spells can be obviously very scary. They can happen when babies crying, when they're having a bowel movement, and or when they're feeding. Let's talk about some signs and symptoms. Signs and symptoms of tetralogy of flow. There's usually a systolic murmur, clubbing of fingernails, poor feeding, the baby may tire easily, tachypnea, loss of consciousness, fussy eaters, squatting, fainting, seizures, dyspnea, irritability, cyanosis, and growth delays. Now let's talk about the other answers in this question. So mitral valve prolapse is something that's actually one of the most common valvular heart disease in the United States. Some people don't even have symptoms from it and they don't even realize they have it. Aortic stenosis, a little more serious. Obviously, you're worried about blocking blood flow to the rest of the body. Uh, patent ductus arteriosus, uh, that's basically seen in infancy. Part of the heart that's supposed to close soon after birth doesn't. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Our question of the day, be sure to stay updated, make sure to subscribe to our channel um, for more content, and also follow us on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook so you don't miss any of our great content from MedMadeEasy. Have a good day!